What's up guys, my name is Vihan Fernando from Truck Camper Lifestyle and today we are going to get some more work done on the truck. Uh, it's mostly going to be uh, working on the storage situation. Uh, I'm also working with my phone today because I brought the GoPro without a memory chip, of course. So I'll be recording with my phone today. But from next week's video, I'm thinking of updating some of my video equipment. Uh, at least so that I can get some better audio. I'm not buying anything new, but I have some mics around, so I might rig those and work something out. Anyways, let's pull the truck in and see what we are gonna do today. Okay. This is what the back of my truck looks like, as always. Uh, this is what happens when you don't have a permanent place for everything. So things get everywhere when you especially go camping. So today's main goal is to figure something out uh, about this whole mess. Uh, I want to be able to use, utilize two of the seats here uh, if I need to. Uh, so I'm gonna plan it in a way that I can put all my tools on this side here and then go from there. This seat, I'm not too worried. That's the smaller seat. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so majority of the stuff is outside. Almost all of this needs to find a home inside here, in this space. So let's see what we got. So a major problem I was always having was with this toolbox. Uh, I used to keep it at the bottom of the carpet. Let me show you. I used to keep it at the bottom here and then pile stuff on top but i need quick access to it especially if i go to the junkyard or if i need to fix something because i'm still practically building this thing up it was annoying and then when i pull it out the whole thing becomes a mess so i decided to put that here since i'm not utilizing the seat and then the oil i'm gonna keep it here and then strap them around too and the rest of the stuff i'm thinking of figuring out a way to make it in here with kind of like a shelf so that there's no mess as long as I can access it through this door I should be okay okay so I'm basically making a box of about 20 centimeters and then this way around 18 centimeters it's just gonna be three sides and then I might partition for the partition if I have enough wood like that uh, depending on what I have so I'm planning to put the tire packet uh, this bag uh, I'm gonna get rid of the plastic piece here and put all the pliers into a bag and then this has to go in there I'm hoping to do that that and two bags basically and then I'll think of something for the screwdrivers too. Let's see. This is a piece of wood I have left over from the camping build. So, I don't know. I think I just have enough.
Okay, so they came out pretty decent. I'm gonna cut the third 18 centimeters piece and then we'll put them together. Okay, so somewhere along the way, I think I messed up the width, but I have a new plan. I want to get rid of these and move them somewhere else. So we'll move that and see if I can move this back. It still fits, but I mean, there's not a room here. So let's see what I can do. Let's get this thing off first. Okay, so it was a huge struggle to get that piece off. So I turned it around, put the toolbox in, and uh, I came up with a way to put the wooden box basically in there with a top. So, uh, without just talking about it let's do the work and see if it works out so before I go any further I want to put carpet on this so that it looks nice so we'll add some carpets and then we'll put it together we also need to vacuum the back before we put it in So I put some of the carpeting. I ran out of glue, but uh, the main parts are done. So let me show you. I put it all in the truck already. There. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna look like. Um, I still have to carpet these two sides once I get some glue. Uh, this is where some of the tools and stuff will go. And this is where my buddy's bed will be. You know who my buddy is? Guess in the comments. All right, let's put some screws into this and get going from there. Okay, it didn't come out from that side, so that's good. This is straight, this is all the way down here. So I'm gonna put the rest of the screws in carefully and then get back to you. Okay, got all the screws in all around. The only issue I have is there's a gap here because the flow of the front 50 is not even it goes like that and down that way and then this it goes up from that way so i need to do something here so that it doesn't do that but if, apart from that all in all came out pretty good okay so that's complete all that's left is well i have to do carpeting here and here and then inside there once I get out of I have some carpet left, not a lot though. Uh, now I have to sort all this mess out into two bags and make it fit in there. Let's do that.
sort it out a little bit. This box is all electrical wiring stuff. Um, this bag has things for oil changing, pipe wrench, uh, oil filter adapter, funnel, hammer, and then a shit ton of pliers. Uh, screwdrivers, I'm missing one, I had to find that. All the pliers are in there. Uh, and all this other stuff is gonna go to one bag and I might put like ratchet straps in the other bag. Let's see Okay, this is turning out to be pretty solid so far electrical stuff screwdrivers So nothing will fall out uh, That's a tire packet and then that's the bag with uh, All the pliers and the oil change stuff Now I have to condense all this so it will fit inside This bag has mostly tools in the form of like boxes. Kind of. Put that there. There's some electrical stuff here. Uh, I don't want to pull everything out again now. I'm just gonna leave them there for the time being. Uh, that's about it. So. To those of you who haven't seen my previous camping video, the carpet I had here completely destroyed it. I'm just gonna remove all the carpeting from here. There's no point of having it there. So we'll remove that. Then this should be good. Okay, almost everything's done. Uh, most of the stuff here is garbage and those need to go upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna quickly get the truck cleaned up then we'll I'll show how I manage the storage. There's still a few things that I need to dial in but all in all I think I did a lot today. Uh, so let's quickly clean it up and then get going home. Okay, so got the interior cleared out, uh, cleaned out entirely. Uh, let me show you. So that stuff, they are temporary. They are going away. This thing I haven't even touched. So that's one of the things that I need to organize that, that. Uh, this one has my toothbrush, which I need to find a different place for. Uh, this is for the block heater. So in Canada's winter, in winter we have to plug the car in, otherwise it won't start. That's just a funnel. 
Um, this is the back. So I had to find a place for this. It's gonna stay here for now till I finish everything. The carpets for these are also gonna stay there. Uh, this has like rope, a lot of rope, bug off, so bug spray. And finally this houses tools. And then the first aid kit. Uh, the oil, I got it here, all strapped up. I don't think it'll move. I'll have to check today on it while I drive home. That's a big toolbox. That's about it for this side. On this side, uh, the bucket. I'm gonna keep the bucket and the camping chairs in here for today. Uh, I have to make a permanent spot for them in the back there. And also I'm planning to buy a roof basket. That way I might even put the camping chest there. I don't know. The firewood though, I really don't like keeping it inside because it messes up the car so much. Uh, I might even leave it here for the time being. I don't know what I'll do, but I might go out tomorrow. Anyways, so that's the back. This entire door is ratchet straps and toe straps. So that's that, it fit pretty well. This door is like the Bermuda Triangle. Things go in there, they never come out. I don't even know what's in there, so I have to clean that. Uh, this thing here, I don't wear sunglasses because I'm blind, I need my glasses. That's the gauge for the tires. I can put more stuff here. That's a TV. I'll show it you from the back. You might have already seen it. That basically plays DVDs. So now that these seats are clear, I can watch movies from the back. Uh -huh. This cleaned up pretty good. That's about it. So once the plan for this is I want to build a charging station at some point, uh, maybe in a few weeks, let's see. All right, now I'm gonna clean up all the gunk and shit and dust and dirt that I acquired over here and then get the car washed and get out of here. See ya.
Okay, so truck's all cleaned up. Uh, it's raining outside, so I don't want to pull it out. I just cleaned it. Um, I do have to wash the floor here, make it all clean and nice and tidy. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wait a bit, see if the rain stops. Uh, I'm gonna clean the floor and then leave. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.